The United States Navy sought a versatile yet powerful aircraft that could replace the aging F-4 Phantom II and the A-7 Corsair II. The answer lay in the original F-A-18 Hornet, a twin-engine, supersonic, all-weather, carrier-capable multi-role fighter jet designed by McDonnell Douglas and Northrop. As the 1980s dawned, the Hornet proved its mettle, excelling in fighter escort, fleet defense, suppression of enemy air defenses, air interdiction, close air support, and aerial reconnaissance. Yet, the relentless march of technology and evolving combat scenarios necessitated an upgrade. Enter the Super Hornet. The F-A18E-F Super Hornet, a larger and more advanced derivative of the F-A18C-D Hornet, flew for the first time in November of 1995. Boasting a 25% larger airframe, the Super Hornet offered increased range, endurance and payload capacity. The Super Hornet's suite of integrated and networked systems provides unprecedented interoperability for the joint force. It's equipped with the APG-79 Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar, which provides superior air-to-air -air and air-to-surface capabilities. The Super Hornet is also a master of stealth, with design elements that reduce radar cross-section, making it harder to detect and track. The Super Hornet's advanced armament that includes AIM-9 Sidewinder, AIM-7 Sparrow, AIM-120 AMRAM and AGM-84 Harpoon missiles, makes it a formidable force on the battlefield. However, the Super Hornet's larger size makes it less agile than its predecessor, and its engine, while powerful, is thirstier, leading to higher operational costs. The Super Hornet remains a cornerstone of the United States Navy's air power, with plans for upgrades and enhancements well into the future. The evolution of the F-A-18 Super Hornet is a testament to the power of innovation and the ceaseless drive for aerial dominance. In the world of military aviation, the F-A-18 Super Hornet is indeed a true marvel.